Bam, his name is Jesse, Jesse, Jesse Rodriguez. Call him Bam. Uh, he's, uh, he's a kid I met when, when he was like 10 years old. He's from San Antonio, Texas. I met him in San Antonio, Texas uh, when he was 10. So we're talking 13 years ago. I had Nonito Donaire fighting in San Antonio. And uh, during Nonito Donaire's uh, media workout, a little kid, Nonito Donaire invited, invited that kid to come in the ring and shadow box with him. And, uh, and it happened to be Bam. And the kids, you know, started shadow boxing. And Nonito says, this kid, this kid's gonna be special. Keep an eye on him, you know. And uh, I took a picture with him, his, old, his older brother Josh also. And then uh, a few years later, you know, I, I, I bring Bam to my team, to RGBA, and then comes the little brother, you know. He, by then, the kid was, uh, Josh was, I mean, Bam was 15 when he started coming to, to my gym. And uh, that was the beginning, you know, he turned pro at 17, turned pro in Mexico, and uh, now he's a, he's a uh, two-division world champion, two-time world champion. His next fight's uh, a unification against Sonny Edwards. So if he wins this fight, he will be uh, a three-time champion of the world, two-division champ champion, and a unified champion at only 23. So that would be a great accomplishment. Yeah, my name is Jesse Bam Rodriguez. I'm 18 and 0 with 11 knockouts, two-time world champ. Currently host a WBO flyweight world championship. Um, my first boxing experience was when I went to, when I first went to the gym with my brother. I, mean, I was just I was nine years old. I went to go watch him train um, for about two weeks, and then I, I wanted to give it a try myself. So I went back to the gym that day and tried it out, and stuck with it ever since. I met Robert, um, it was crazy. I fought one of their fighters at an amateur tournament and his son Pita was working the corner of that fighter. And you know, I kind of, I put it on him and I beat him. And ever since then, um, Pita, you know, he just kept in contact with me. And then, um, well, he, he knew my, our other friend, Hector Tanahara as well. So we both, you know, just, we just kept in contact through social media. And then um, my brother decided he wanted to turn pro. So, you know, we, uh, we put my brother's name out there and then they invited my brother out here to Riverside to start training with Robert and, you know, I just tagged along uh, and that's when I finally met him, met Robert. You know what? That one thing, one thing, just like, just like uh, his brother Josh, Jesse, Bam. He's uh, these kids are, are they, 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 they were taught by by, uh, by by both mom and dad that when you when you're doing something, you gotta give it 100. percent These kids, you know, when they come to camp, he's focused. If, if he's gonna be here for 10 weeks, he's focused. Stays on his diet, eats healthy. He runs, he trains uh, the way, the way she, there's, no, there's no weekend where I want to take a little break, I want to eat something that I'm not supposed to. These kids come in, very focused, very dedicated, great manners, so, so you know, same thing as, as his brother, you know, the, the parents did a great job with him.
Boxing, um, it changed my life. Um, you know, it was difficult at first as a professional just because it was hard to get fights. But um, when I won my world title, you know, my, my whole life changed and I'm thankful for boxing forever. So I, I love it. Um, I want to take it as far as I can go. Um, once I stop having fun with it, once I stop, once I stop, you know, enjoying it, that's when I call it quits. But as of right now, sky's the limit. I have, uh, you know, no sight of retiring anytime soon. Do you think there's hope for Joshua to come back in the ring, or is he like done now? Nah, you know, there's there's been talks, you know, that he's getting that itch back. So I feel like, you know, he might come out of retirement. Yeah, I mean, one, 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 once you're a boxer, it's always going to be in your blood. You're always going to have that itch. He's still young, hasn't taken much damage, you know. He has a lot more left in the tank, so why not? Um, I've had it since I was a baby. Um, they call me the great Bambino, like the baseball player. They got that from the movie Sandlot. So it was Bambino for a bit, and then they changed it to Bambi, like the deer. And then I just grew out of that, so they cut it short to Bam. Ever since then, it just stuck with me. Uh, he comes for every every fight about two, two and a half months before the fight. So for this camp, he's fighting December 16 in Arizona. So he's been here for a couple of weeks. So that so that that's to gives us like eight more weeks before the fight. No, no, this is definitely um, a decision of my own. Um, you know, I know fights. Um, I, I fight 12 rounds now, so to get ready for 12 rounds, that's a lot of work. So that's why you know I give myself 10 weeks to get ready for that. And you know, 10 weeks is just. Boxing, 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 that's it. That's why I leave home, no distractions at all. If you like exciting fights, then I'm definitely gonna be, you know, one of your favorite fighters to watch. Every fight I'm in, it's exciting. My last fight, I broke my jaw in the sixth round, and I kept fighting, and that right there says a lot. I'm a warrior, I bring it 100% each fight, so if you tune in, you're gonna really enjoy what you're seeing. I won, I still won, yeah. Yeah, uh, 12 rounds. It was for a world title, so I, I couldn't. <laughs> I fought Christian Gonzalez, a fighter from Mexico. Oh man, that shit was crazy. Um, I remember when it happened, it was a sixth round. I got caught with an uppercut, I had my mouth open. And I knew right away, my, my ears started ringing, so I knew something was up. And my, this felt out of place a little bit. And then later on in the fight, you know, about two or three rounds after that, I got another fracture. So I had two fractures in my jaw, you know, around nine, 10 rounds and I kept fighting like that. Um, the guy wasn't throwing much, so I wasn't taking many, many punches, but towards the end of the fight, like 12 rounds, he started throwing a lot more. He started catching me a lot, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more. It started hurting after a while, so I just backed up a bit in that 12 round, but after that, I knew I had I had the, you know, the fight in the bag, so it all paid off. Did the corner know that? Yeah, I, I told, I told uh, my coach Robert, um, you know, I think in the seventh round, I was like, my jaw's fucked up. And then, you know, we just, they just told me to keep doing what I'm doing because they knew I was winning the fight. They knew it wasn't like too much of a dangerous fight, so I just kept fighting. Well, I don't, but they just stopped it. Yeah, I know. I don't know some 
coaches them, but that's it. Yeah, nah, I, I wouldn't have let him, honestly. Um, like I said, the guy wasn't throwing much, so I wasn't taking much damage me, but that shit get hurt when I was getting caught, but that's boxing, it happens. It's, um, um, recovery was, you know, not, not, not too bad. I had, um, a no chew diet for six weeks. So it was just strictly, um, smoothies, uh, milkshakes, jello, anything I can eat without chewing. That's what I was on for six weeks. It was hard for a bit, but you know, I got used to it after a while. So yeah. Um, now nah, I just, I want to, you know, invite everyone to watch my fight December 16th on the zone. Um, it's a unification against Sonny Edwards, WBO, and IBF titles on the line. Both undefeated fighters. So it's going to be a great fight. This is a huge fight for boxing and a huge fight for the weight division. So, you know, if you're watching this, tune in December 16th. You know what I could probably say there? The only similarity they have is probably when it comes to the way they act outside of the ring, outside of the gym. They're very, both very quiet, uh, very, you know, on their own, you know, their own little world. They're, they're not, they're, they don't have, they don't hang around with friends. They don't, you know, you know, they're 23 year old, so you could think might want to go out, might like to party here and there. But now he's a very, very quiet. It's just pretty much the same thing as, as his brother. But when it comes to boxing, I think they're very different styles. Uh, Bam is, is a left-hander, and he boxes very well with good pivots, good good angles. And and Josh is more like a little brawler inside, you know, fighting on the inside. So when it when it's compared to boxing, they're totally different.